Hi, I'm Pax from Pax Facts. Today we are going to do a video about inchworms. He's making some silk. He's making silk? Yeah. Like, kind of like a spider. He does that to escape danger. But he can just drop from the leaf he is hanging on. <laughs> Oh, he did it again. Make silk. See? He did silk. He made yeah. silk. Wherever that goes, wherever he goes. Will he make a spider web? No. no. He doesn't do that. He just makes the silk because it helps him to get away from danger. Oh. Inchworms are not worms at all. But they are caterpillars with legs at both ends of, of their bodies, but not in the middle. Since they don't have any legs in the middle, it makes a big arch in the middle when they walk. It makes them look like they're measuring something, so that's how they get their name. Interim style in one of his eggs, spinning the one to attach to the underside of leaves. They hatch early in the spring, and as soon as the tiny inchworms emerge, they begin eating. They eat leaves and fruit, mostly. Not all inchworms eat the same foods. This isn't too surprising since they come from a family that has about 35,000 different species in it worldwide. Inchworm has skin that can't grow with it, so it needs to shed the old skin when it's too small. They will molt several times during the stage. When they develop enough, inchworms get a hard shell around them called pupae and protect them while they transform into adult yonder moths. It's kind of so cool. Please keep it for a while. Is it going to be like Steve the Slug? I don't think so. What happened with Steve the Slug? He ran away. He ran? The slug ran away? Yeah, that does seem, that does seem kind of weird to say. So what happened to him? I guess he... I guess he... He escaped in my house. Yeah. That's what happened to him. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.